Right, uh, all charged up for the purposes of this video. It's going to be a very quick uh, video because uh, I'll go through the full setup in, uh, in another video. For now, yes, everything charged up, uh, stickers removed, props fitted, batteries charged, uh, firmware updated, drone activated, remote control connected. Um, I think we're finally ready to go. So let's have a go. Stay there. No. Thank you. So my first, it's my first flight and I have to say it's fantastically uh, good to see that um, they have employed the same propeller technology, same rotor technology as they did on the Mavic 2 Pro. Sounds very, very similar to the Mavic 2 Pro and nothing like the uh, swarm of angry wasps that the Mavic Air was. So let's uh, put it through at paces. Very, very solid. Very, very nice. Let's do a little bit of recording. Nice to have uh, 4K as an option again. And off we go. So straight up to the 12 meters per second speed, which is the uh, top speed in P mode. Very fast and capable. Absolutely no signal dropout whatsoever. Picture looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's chuck it into sports mode. Now I'm flying into the wind here. So I'll uh, head back. So I'll try sports mode with the wind, see how we get up. Okay, straight up to 18 meters per second. Right, so my first, so my first uh, impressions are uh, incredibly fast and capable little drone. Let's see what some of the smart functions are like. So that's a point of interest. See what happens when I increase the height. Yeah, that's fine, it seems to cope. Come down a little bit. Very good. Okay, it's not happy doing uh, active track. Okay, let's bring it back to me then.
Right, let's try a little bit of the old active track, smooth that so you can see the fun. How does it cope with the tree? Well, that's pretty good going. What's going on, Ted? See what happens if I walk under a tree. Hey, that's good. Okay, good going. Come on, Ted. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, he's doing well on the old obstacle avoidance. Hide under a tree. Okay. Okay, it's detecting the trees behind it. That's good. So it stopped and didn't reverse into the hawthorn bush. Come on then. What happens if I hide underneath here? That's pretty good going. Is it going to hit the... No, that's very good. Yeah, steady! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Rah, rah, rah. Molly, Molly, Molly! Come on, little man! Ah, finally lost me. Well, I have to say the uh, active track was pretty uh, impressive there, uh, running around, uh, it anticipated where I'd come out from a tree. Um, yeah, it's pretty impressive stuff. Okay, well, that's um, a great first flight there. Uh, quite a breezy day, handle the wind, no problem at all. Uh, nice to have the uh, fast speed again, uh, the speed that I'm used to from the Mavic 2 Pro or the original Mavic Air. Um, active track was uh, very impressive there, running under the trees. Um, it managed to anticipate where I'd come out. Um, it, I was really trying to reverse it into trees and uh, it would not uh, manage to avoid all the uh, all the bushes and high trees I've got around me. Um, first thoughts: very smart bit of kit. So there you go. That was my uh, very first flight. Uh, my first impressions are: it is uh, a very well built, solid uh, model. I'm very impressed with the gimbal. The gimbal looks like a, a slightly scaled down version of the Mavic 2 Pro. Same design, nice and solid. The legs. Very, uh, very solid, uh, no flex in them whatsoever. The sound, uh, fantastic, just like the Mavic 2 Pro, much, much quieter, a lower pitch, so it's um, uh, far less annoying. The remote, I'm still getting used to. I'm still unsure why I now have a much bigger remote to, um, to lug about with me, but um, I'm not so fussed on the uh, phone, uh, the way it grabs the phone, but um, again, uh, give me a bit of time. I may get used to it. Camera. Very impressive. Uh, from what I could see on the screen, it's certainly looking good, but obviously I need to now go and download the files from the uh, SD card and have a look at them on my Jumbo 4K uh, monitor uh, to actually see how good they are. But I'll be doing another video on uh, photos and video comparisons uh, on another day. Today was just all about my first impressions on a first flight. and uh, I have to say I'm incredibly pleased with this bit of kit. Uh, I will do a far more in-depth review uh, over the next couple of days after I've had a chance to uh, play around with it properly and check the actual quality of the output. 
But uh, like I said, initial thought, well built, very capable, good camera, great speed, amazing active track, good obstacle avoidance. Um, obviously no problem with the uh, transmission whatsoever as well with OcuSync. So all in all, very happy boy. Um, anyway, look, <laughs> I've got to go in and play with some of the files now. But uh, as I said, uh, if you like this sort of stuff, give me a little thumbs up. Always helps the cause. And uh, hit the old sub, ding the dong to get notified when I put something out. I'll be putting out quite a few more videos over the next uh, week or so on this as I uh, get to know the ins and outs. Either way, hope you're well. Till next time, stay safe, stay sane, have fun, happy flying.